Cool. I don't know what I'm saying. G'day, my name's Walters. G'day, Steve Walters here from Walters Fencing. As you know, we just love finding solutions to those really ordinary jobs on the fence line. The latest issue we've had, and this has been going on for a long time, is how do you quickly and easily get your post spacings accurate? In the old days, or you, you just step them out and it depends who's stepping. It uh, doesn't always work well. You can measure it with a tape, but it's an extra trip down the fence line, an extra thing to do. And we've used conduit where you cut it at the right length and slide it along to mark the post. We toyed with looking at trying to get you know, some sort of GPS or modern solution or a, a, a wheel and the ute that would measure it for us. And it was all very clunky and expensive. So what we've done is we've done this. So, need to find where we want to put the post in, I guess, you could say. As we drive past, we want to be stopping about here. So I've marked here where we're going to mount a camera, so the driver knows exactly where to stop. Basically, it sits there. Um, give us length either four metres or five metres from where that mark is. We slide this in, which then marks, it's pushed down with air marks the ground. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Call me Steve! The driver pushes this when he wants a mark. <laughs> so this will go up into here. Um, the driver will push it out the window. I'll be running another zip tie. Right there. Yeah. Right on. Now we got a full tank. That was pretty good. Probably need a little bit more. Yeah. Now we've got to set up the camera. Oh, because we've only got one lighter plug. We had to get a little adapter because we got a camera we're going to set up and the other bits in the other back, eh? <laughs> Right, so we've got this all set up. We actually did the tricky section without using it because it would have been a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I forgot the camera part, so we actually don't have a camera to put on here. Actually, we don't have power to the camera screen, so we can't use that today. So what we're going to do is we'll pull up like usual. We usually park a little bit past where the star post is going to be. As you can see. So we'll put this one in and then I'll show you how it's going to work for two people. So when the post is here, if the driver isn't quite lined up with his line where we've marked our five meters to, because we don't have a camera, we'll just get the driver to adjust so then we get five meters exactly. The driver will be in here after the poster has told him where to be. We'll grab this one. We've kind of just got zip tied and sitting out of the way of the door. He'll pull that, paint will drop down, paint will paint. Then, so we'll drive forward. To where we think it'll be. 
obviously the post will then put his post in and then we'll do this one after we've been guided to the right spot. I'm gonna make a slight adjustment because we're a little bit off the line. I'm just gonna move it over a tiny. So what we're hoping to do is develop this concept further and then we can actually get it out to you guys in the field so you can use it as well. Yeah. So thumbs up or thumbs down? No, we like it. We like it. I like it. We like it. <laughs> Beer. Smart thing. Oh, damn it. Double Forgot the, I, I, forgot the bowl for it. Forgot the bowl. Pretty dodgy. CD mow on spec right now. Mine. Yeah. <laughs> it's just shining in the sun. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.